all amigos this is somvir and welcome back to codepipe codepipe is all about helping upcoming programmers to learn new things till now we have done many projects on django we know how it works how it behaves in this video we will see what to learn after django we will try to answer these three questions why django is not enough then we will see what to learn after django and finally the thing that we want to learn after django how it will help us first of all let's see why django is not enough we all know django is fast scalable and secure framework for developing websites there is no doubt in that and we have been using it for a lot of time to understand this but what i feel is it is mostly related to back end works like creating models hosting applications by applications i mean different modules where we can add different models and everything but what it lacks is it is very less suitable for front end part Yes we have templates and html part but till now we are only using html and basic css one last thing that bugs me is for any change in templates or html file we will need to do a heavy work that is communicating with the django backend that is models views templates etc to get anything done with this slide i think we are all clear that django is not very much suitable for front end so what we need to learn after django is we need to learn a front end framework or any front end library having knowledge about any front end framework or library will make our web development process smoother and better the best library for front end will be javascript and based on javascript there are some frameworks like react and view which are also very wonderful when we talk about front end from this slide we understood that we need to learn a front end framework or a library but if you feel like you are okay with basic html and css you can surely continue working on that there is no hard and fast rule that you need to know any front end framework but give me a chance to explain how front end framework will help us first of all the framework or the library will have direct involvement with the html files and mainly browser components there are many browser components couple of them are showing alert logging information in the console etc with this we will also have to deal very less with the backend for everything there might be some changes that we can do based on the ui and for that we don't have to go to backend for everything so these changes we can do using front end framework along with this we will have better packages from front end frameworks or libraries like geolocation in javascript we can use geolocation to get users location and we can perform any activity on that along with geolocation there are many other packages that might be helpful also having knowledge about front end framework or library will save a lot of time and it will be more efficient because as we were discussing for every small input we need not go to back end to validate it to change it to manipulate it etc so it will save our time and hence it will be more efficient also it will make our website more secure though django is secure but adding an extra layer of validation or security is always good this is mainly applicable for forms where we are inputting some data and to check the validation we need to submit it but when we are using any front end library we will validate it without sending request to django or the back end hence it will be more secure and at last we will have a better looking ui i hope now you are convinced that we need a front end framework or a library to make our website development process smoother and better with this let me tell you what we are planning next for codepipe we will try to make some example videos on javascript that is a library after this we will try to learn a new front end framework like react and we will try to make some example videos on that when we will be learning this we will try to stay connected to our django roots and we will try to know how we can integrate our django backend to the front end library or framework that we are learning like javascript and react or along the way maybe we can learn new techniques or new stacks for web development like once we get into javascript and react there are many stacks that we can use there are many databases we can use there are many backends we can use so we might explore those also at the end the main objective of codepipe youtube channel is to learn something new every day and try to spread that knowledge to our viewers also my udemy course on complete website development from scratch to hosting is live on udemy a link with discount code is available in the description 
you can support me on buy me a coffee to reach my goal if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell to not miss out any videos let me know your thoughts in the comment section we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios